In our previous sessions on Bloom's taxonomy, we talked about the different domains and focused on cognitive domain. And I last shared with you some of the verbs that you might see in your syllabus and the learning outcomes and course competencies for the course. What I'd like to do in this session is talk to you about now that you've recognized at what level of blooms that the course objective or competency may be written at, what are some of the things you can do, either quick assessments or things as you're designing your assignments and projects for your students. So let me go back and talk about the first two levels. I'm going to combine them in this sense. Knowledge and comprehension. Again, basically we're just trying to get students, what do they know and can they comprehend the material that they've read from the chapters or whatever. So some of the things that you can do in class to assess or to uh, measure how well your students are doing, there's something in the classroom assessment techniques uh, classic book by Angelo and Cross called Background Probes. A lot of the knowledge and comprehension are stuff that students have probably picked up previously in life, in their education or even just you know as they matured in life. So a background probe is a wonderful way, just start at the course, ask them a quiz or ask them some questions about what they already might know. Really helps you to determine what you need to then uh, address. It also helps you determine if they've got some misconceptions about some things that you can go back and to address. But these are usually not graded, just quick things to get, get an idea of where students are. Some of the things you can do that can be graded or not here we're talking about just for knowledge and comprehension, quizzes would work wonderfully here, multiple choice questions on exams, fill in the blanks. We're just again trying to get them to identify or list some of the things that they know. As we start moving up and getting into higher order thinking, some of the things you could do if you see an application objective or competency. Again, multiple choice questions could be used. I, I do know there are some test banks out there that do go up to the level of application and maybe even get up to analysis. But I hear my personal preference is, is I probably start to get away from multiple choice questions now at this point. I'm starting to ask the students now to communicate in some form to me uh, that they're able to apply and to be able to solve and produce and use, as those verbs might say. So here I might have short answer or essay questions on an exam. I might have a small project where they have to do something in class to show that they can apply the knowledge that they have. So maybe some teamwork thing, something they report back to the class on that are wonderful things you could do in application. If you've got a learning competency that gets to analysis, and again the verbs we can talk about here, compare and contrast, analyze, here, we're again talking higher order. So again, I would probably, personal preference, stay away from multiple choice questions at this time. That's a personal decision. But I get back now to essay questions. I need more in-depth analysis now of that they understand some concepts and can apply some stuff. So term papers, I think case studies are a wonderful example here. A class project, whether that's individual or in groups, I think are wonderful ways for students to demonstrate that they can analyze situations. Synthesis, again, a creation of their own work. So here we're talking about portfolios, a wonderful way to document whether that's a portfolio for their course, their entire program, what they've done, but something they have created, a project, a service learning project where they've gone out and done something. A performance, as in an art performance, or in the studio, or along with that. They're, they're creating their own work. Creating an ad campaign for a company would be a wonderful way, again, so some big projects. And these are going to be pretty time consuming, could be semester long type projects because we are now getting to the higher order of thinking. And then evaluation. Some of the wonderful things that we can do in our classes for evaluation are have a reflection paper. So here are students, and these could be part of the portfolios as well, but they're reflecting, they're evaluating on their experience. They're reflecting on what they've learned and gone through, I think are wonderful things. Here, I've tried to have students evaluate others' work. So having a student evaluate another person's portfolio, uh, again, with good training and I think are wonderful projects that you could do. And even some cost-benefit analysis to really make them think about pros and cons and evaluate and really uh, those decisions. So I think, I hope these are some wonderful ideas and you can come up with some others that uh, really measure what level students are learning at. So if you think about a syllabus, you've got course competencies. I'd encourage you to think about the verbs that are being used. What level of learning are we trying to accomplish? And then here are some of the projects and ideas to try to have students to be able to demonstrate that level of learning.